I would just sit inside of my office staring out of the window and thinking, wow, that, that was a great day to be outside, but instead I sat inside the whole day. And I just wanted to change my lifestyle for as long as possible. My name is Nora, I'm 30, I'm from the Netherlands. And for the last 14 months, I rode from Amsterdam to Bali alone. The reason for my travel is more curiosity by just seeing if I can handle situations I've never been in. So my motorcycle experience before this trip was zero. I had gotten my motorcycle license a year before, but I'd never left the Netherlands on my bike. I've never ridden off-road on my bike. <laughs> That's what I got to work with. So my journey started in the Netherlands. Then I went to Germany, Lithuania, Latvia, and Estonia, Russia, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, and Iran, Pakistan, India, Nepal, Myanmar, Thailand, Malaysia, and finally into Indonesia. And after 14 months, I jumped on a plane, and in less than 24 hours, I was back where I started. People ask you like, okay, aren't you scared? That's really brave. Are you married? Sometimes I pretended to be married just because that would make me feel safer if it was just guys and it was remote. Other people reacted to me in all sorts of ways, either waving and giving me the thumbs up. That happened most of the times. And if you then really talk to them, they're like, wow, did you really do that? I'm king of the road. I am king of the road. Music is my money and my story will be told. And life is like a sound that makes us all together bound. Let it out, let it hear, let it sing. Just in the end, how friendly people are. Just in every single country. I mean, we get this whole propaganda of Russians are horrible people and they don't like these different people and whatever, but as long as I, I, yeah, I got integrated into the biker community and they were so friendly. They waited for me, they put, they gave me food. We went to their houses, they gave me free tour guides, you know, they were super friendly people. And that's the thing that just keeps on surprising you because every single time it happens again and again and again. And then, yeah, that's just, that's so nice. But in the end, the hardest country was definitely Iran. Wow, look. Was here. Was here. Was here. Of course, the guy who did it is gone. We won't. Fuck you. I was just in shock over the longer term the most challenging thing was to get back into the right mindset because it really screwed up um, how i looked at everything while we were flying into the netherlands and i got just so sad i got i literally sat there crying i think it was just a release of all the emotions from the last 14 months so now that i finished my trip the biggest change I've noticed with myself is that I'm more patient. And by now I'm just so used to everything going wrong. Then I'm like, <laughs> you know, that's just, that's just how it goes. I'm just gonna wait and it'll clear itself up. If I could have gone in a straight line from Bali to Amsterdam or from Amsterdam to Bali. And I would have missed out on so many things. You can do it in two months, three months, if you want to, tops, to drive there. But yeah, what's, what's the fun in that, you know? Life ain't fun without detours.